it No gunshots, but they getting Hey, what's up you guys? Craft Farms here and welcome back to another video. <clears throat> Today we are back on Dakota Plains. I just finished loading up. So we're going to tab through here. Okay. We need to unhook that for a second. Get rid of those. Okay, so in this video, what we're going to do is we are going to finish spraying and then get started on harvest so we're going to uh, go as fast as we can uh, with this spraying so that way we can get it done and get started on combining I'm hoping this video is on time. Uh, I didn't get it recorded last night like I had hoped. And uh, I didn't get up early enough this morning either to do it. So <clears throat> hopefully I can get this done and uploaded uh, in time. If not, it'll be pretty close to on time. But tomorrow will definitely be, definitely be on time because I'm going to make it a priority to get some other videos recorded tonight uh, I just got home from work so it is 430 this hill is definitely not going to make our uh, speedy sprain happen but it shouldn't take too long though oh so um, this is the updated version of the uh, Oliver 1955 it is pending approval uh, or a pen pending testing on FSUK the day that I uploaded it, uh, it said that it had like a two week wait time for testing. So I uploaded it four days ago. Uh, I just looked. I still check it every day because maybe it'll, um, you know, maybe they'll get to it sooner than they thought or something like that. Who knows? But um, yeah, so I've got it in game here. As you can see, the fan is spinning, and then we got a radio there. Um, I just said screw it on the uh, gauges um, if they really want them that badly they could do them because I just cannot get them to work I've tried all different kinds of rotations all different kinds of ways of doing them nothing worked so um, yeah so I just said heck with it and uh, they just won't have the gauges but it does have a working fan um, huge thanks to Massey 850 he sent me the uh, files for the fan uh, because the original one as you guys had seen um, I put it in blender to center it so that it would you know be completely centered and whatnot and uh, it was ginormous when I exported I couldn't get it to be the right size he sent me the blender file for it and uh, he had already centered it so I just applied a texture to it or the existing texture to it and then uh, put it on here and scripted it in so So yeah, that works now. I believe I did a video on it um, when it was done. I don't know. Uh, once it's up on FSUK, I might do an in-depth review on these or something. Um, you know, like kind of like what I did with the 4540 Patriot. Uh, with my mods, whenever I finish one, I a lot of times like to just kind of do a review on it. 
Um, you know, I mean, you guys obviously see it a lot because I use it, but it is kind of nice to just do a video dedicated to showing it and what it does and all of that stuff. So, usually once I complete something, I do one of those. Uh, in the case of these tractors, I'll do one once they're up on FSUK, and then I can put the link down in the description for it. I don't know why this does not want to turn on. So we're almost done with this. But yeah, I only do the review on like mods that I've done. Um, otherwise, I don't do I don't do like reviews on public mods or anything like that. Um, I just do it on the ones that I've done, um, just to kind of show, uh, kind of show them, you know, show what they look like. Because normally, like if I use it while I'm playing, it's just I'm just in it and I'm using it. I don't really sit and talk about, you know, how I did this, how I did that, what it does, what its price is, you know, that kind of stuff. So, that's the, you know, basically reason for doing that I do those. Alright, final pass of spraying. Alright, let's get the heck out of here. We're going to go through the ditch. Because <laughs> I don't really want to go all the way around. Um, so, we're going to go here. We're going to go plant growth fast. And 120x. And then the time can start going. And then it can go while we uh, clean this off. And get it put away. And then afterwards we can use the uh, fast forward time mod. And go... I think it's like 12,000 times or something like that, or 120,000. It's a lot more. You can go a lot faster. Yeah, so there's the fender radio. I didn't make it get dirty. Um, I didn't figure there was a point in it. Because, you know, I guess maybe it, you know, it maybe would. But I just figured I'm not going to. Um, updated the F-250. Uh, the original one, it was the original one that I was still using. As you guys saw in the last video, the hose was floating. Uh, and that was something that uh, the creator fixed in version 2. He actually remade the hose uh, to be a little bit different. So yeah, we're running the newer version of that. I think that's about all that he did to it was just adjust the hose. Okay, cool. So that's done. Um, let's see, how do I want to put this in here? I'm going to pull this guy out. So there's the radio in this one. Okay, so I'm going to pull this guy out. And then we'll back this one in and leave it hooked to the sprayer. Or leave it like right in front of it or something. And I can't see a thing. <laughs> well actually we better leave this out because we're going to need it. We need to take it out anyways. So that way we can get to the combine and trucks. So we might as well just leave this set right like this. And then this guy we can back in and pull the planter out with. I didn't think about that at first. Okay, so we'll pull this guy out. Let's pull him in under here for now.
And then we just need to pull the cultivator out and then we can uh, dig everything else out. Whoa, wrong way. I don't know why I'm getting such low frames right now, but I am. Okay, so now we can fast forward really fast. Oh, that's probably why it's because there's lights. Or no, there's not. That's just the moon. That's kind of neat. Holy smokes, we are almost $5,000 in the hole. That's never good. Are we fully grown here? No, we're not. Dang it. Uh, let's turn the map on, and then I can watch it that way. Holy smokes, now we're negative 9,000. What? Only part of these are fully grown? What the world? Oh, that stuff takes forever. That's right. Shoot. Okay. Alrighty. Well, let's get this stuff out of here. Back this combine out. Grab the header. Uh, we'll start with the cornfield, I think. It's kind of a tight fit. Yeah, we'll start with the corn and then move, move on from there. Soybeans will have to be the last, I guess. Well, everything that's grown right now is going to have to be um, done with this header anyways, because the oats aren't done growing either. Maybe the oats are broken like the soybeans were. Uh, I know the soybeans, you have to go quite a few days with those. I remember that now. Uh, I need to adjust that so that way you go only a couple of days or something. Uh, I need to figure out how everything else is set up in that sense. Yeah, it takes like forever for the soybeans to grow. It is a huge pain. So I need to go in and fix that. One percent corn. Oh, that's that. So there's the sunflowers. I guess we can start with the flowers. Or the corn, it really doesn't matter. I guess let's start with the sunflowers. See, I know this header is a little bit wonky. There we go. Let's grab a screenshot here of this. You know what, let's actually go in the sunflower field. I think that'd make a nicer shot. Okay, now we can combine away. Yeah, I I did fix the soybeans, I thought. Unless maybe I did, but I didn't save it or something like that. I don't know. I'll have to look at uh, look at it and see what happened. But my guess is I just didn't save it. Best part is though we can turn around on it since there's nothing there. It's kind of nice that the sunflowers are in rows. It makes them a little bit easier to combine.
So we're getting an okay yield. I'm hoping it'll be enough. Ugh, I sound so stuffy. I don't know why. I was around a lot of dust today, so that's probably why. All the way over to the other edge, and then we'll head straight down. I'm hoping some of these other crops yield better than this is. I wish this header was sunflowers instead of corn, but I can't remember if that's something that you had to add in the map or if you can add it straight to the header. I think you can add it to the map as well, and then it'll do it with every header. Otherwise, you'd have to sit and er edit every single header that you use, which would kind of get annoying. Because I know you can do fill planes, but I don't know if there's animations too. Hopefully we can uh, make a little bit of money in. I don't know if it'll be enough to upgrade any equipment yet, but there'll definitely be a little something. It'll probably be uh, just enough to just plant next season's crops and spray it. That's probably going to be about it. I have a feeling. Although in real life, I don't think that sunflowers are really this road up. I could be wrong. It's been a long time since I've been around sunflowers. Well, they are in rows. I just, they, if I remember correctly, I don't think they're this far apart. I think it's a lot closer. But they are, they are in rows. Because obviously everything is, but I just I don't think it's quite this far. I could be wrong. Like I said, I haven't been around sunflowers in quite a long time, so um, I could be way off. But from what I remember them as, I don't think they were this this far apart. that oats right oat or rye or alfalfa be any of those three I guess um, yeah whatever's in there must be broken I'm trying to remember now what the heck we even planted I'll have to go back and look at a video figure it out I'm pretty sure it was oats 
but it's been a while. tank inside I guess huh. definitely sunflowers in there time we got another oh man let's see let's say eight minutes so it's 856 or 456 jeez okay it's a little bit after five things just aren't cooperating I hate when that happens. It seems to happen all the time. The chop straw doesn't really even go with it either. It's the wheat chop straw. But <laughs> I think at the time Random did this map, I don't think that very many people knew how knew that it was even possible to uh, add different chop straws. I could be wrong on that too, of course, but. I know it's been a long time that long time ago that he made this map. Oh, I'm missing stuff. That's the annoying thing about these headers. Or this header at least. Or any header that does this when you go one way it you know it extends out farther because you can see like we're taking off another row and the header isn't even there but then you go back the other way and it doesn't so it's kind of annoying so we'll get down as far as we can we'll unload the combine and get the truck in position somewhere in the field and then that'll be the video pretty much yeah, we're not gonna make it to the end but maybe we will we'll see Nah. It'll be close. Or not really, but. Zank, this holds 15,000. Yep. That's exactly what it holds. Let's see. We'll take this one. Oh yeah, 
Gotta wait for it to start up. Okay, that's long enough. <clears throat> that starting sound takes forever. Oh yeah, kind of hard to do it in cab on this truck. I definitely like how this turned out. The headlights do look a little weird, but other than that, it looks pretty dang good. Whoa. Field is just beating this truck up. Okay, I'm gonna actually take this combine and go over a little bit more here. And we can shut it off because, like I said, after this, I'm going to end the video. So, okay, let's get all this stuff shut off now. So that way I can just hop out and quick snap it. And it has a wheat texture, of course, because it's not going to be sunflowers. Oh well. That'll be one thing when I do my map, everything will be fully working and correct. Um, hopefully, because there have been maps out now that have, you know, everything's been done differently. You know, there was, <clears throat> you know, about the time that this map was made, it was, you know, there weren't very many maps that had a whole lot of, for multi-fruit on them and stuff. Uh, I don't believe, so, you know, it, it uh, didn't have much to go off of. But anyway, guys, that's going to do it for this video. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Be sure to subscribe if you like what you see. Be sure to turn on the post notifications to be notified every time I upload a new video. Be sure to check out down below in the description for my PC specs, my upload schedule, as well as links to all of my social medias and some other cool YouTube channels that are worth taking a look at. Thanks for watching you guys, and as always, we'll see you tomorrow.